You said you wouldn't tell anyone. You promised. I can't believe you lied. You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you. I have a better plan. I'll marry a wealthy man. Wouldn't that make you gay? Not necessarily. That would be. You know that I'm back, but you're spending the night with me. What do you want from my world? You're a good little girl. about TikTok is that we love to support small artists so if you are a small artist use this sound and show off your art and anyone who's scrolling through their for you page and you find this beautiful art and you love it if you want to support this artist one of the best things you can do is click share and then copy link and it'll really help them in the algorithm do it do it do it <laughs>
do. Listen to you. It's about to make me mad right here. You this way all the time. Look, man. I wear your granddad's clothes. I look incredible. I'm in this big old coat. From that thrift shop down the road. Hey. Fucking mental illness. I wanna shop my shit from Walmart with you while I blow my damn pen into your throat. That might happen if you don't go. Let's be that kind of straight through that.
let's make an artwork to go with this sketchbook cover. I want it to match my bloodbath Lydia keychains. I have a bunch of pose sketches that might fit, but I decided to go with something new. I've never done a back view pose for decorated sketchbook before. This way the focus will be more on the wings and outfit details than the character's face. I think it creates a nice little bit of contrast, especially since the background is very detailed. I usually sketch in pen for my ink drawings, but I decided to experiment a little with color before inking as well. I usually add color after inking, but coloring this way made the sketch more than just planning for the drawing. This was so fun to do, and I love how it turned out. Hello, guys! Welcome to Arson's introduction! Arson speaks in third person and is non-binary, cat gender, gay, and scene gender. Oh, also transgender. Arson really, really likes cats, scene core, and gothic. Arson is non-binary, but also cat gender. So please refer to Arson as non-binary. Do not call Arson a boy or a girl, please. Arson also really hates dogs. Arson is self-diagnosed with ADHD, autism, bipolar disorder, and dyslexia. Oh, and DID. Arson is also transracial. Arson was born American, but Arson really thinks they should have been Asian. Arson also is self-diagnosed with the t roar. Sorry, that was my Tourette's. Arson has been studying art since he was six. Arson also really likes My Little Pony, Hello Kitty, and really, 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 really likes Karomi. But Arson really doesn't like South Park. South Park is a racist, homophobic, transphobic, ableist, and zoophilic show. If you watch South Park, you're so ableist, transphobic, homophobic, a zoophile, and a lot more. Do not interact with me if you watch South Park. Arson was also diagnosed with asthma, so you can probably hear him breathing really heavy in the background. That's all Arson has to say. So, bye-bye. You can watch the speed pain in the back if you really want to see Arson's character.
Okay, tutorial. I can do that. Paper. Pencil. And not a mechanical pencil because mechanical pencils are known to explode. For example, look what happens when I just explode. Step one. Circle. Step two. Line. Step three. Whatever this is. Nice. Step four. The delicious little ears. Congratulations, you have the basic face shape down. Now on for the body. One. Neck. Don't forget the little the little shading. If you'll just fo focus the cap. Step I forgot. This will be our collarbone. I know it's very difficult, but I believe in you. The body shape can obviously be differently than what I'm about to do, but I'll just draw what I did for the drawing that you just saw. This shape, this shape, this shape, the exquisite little calf muscles. Now for the arms, you just gotta eat. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, arms are really difficult. I don't like them. I think we should just get rid of arms as a whole. I think that'd be helpful. Shablam! Nice. We got the nice little feetsies. Now for my mortal enemy. The hands. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Ish. Okay, time to show you how I did it. Bloop, blop, bleep, blarp, blog and schnoff. That's the basic body shape, but whoa. Okay, let me let me fix these legs. Shoo. Shwap. Eek eek. Whap. Okay, now we have the basic thing down. Okay, now on for the detail. Eyeball. Eyeball. Triangle. Comment what kind of clothes and hair and everything else you want to see on this beautiful creature. As for the tutorial, I hope you liked it. Now go have fun. Goodbye.